Nick, uh, congratulations on your uh, your international debut last night. Um, talk us through it. What was the what was the experience like? Yeah, it was a pretty um, pretty good experience um, as a for a 21 year old to walk out in in front of a crowd in India and get to represent represent Australia. Um, something I've wanted to do from from a young age. So to get that opportunity in India, like I said, in, in front of that crowd was, was pretty surreal. And it was a bit of a late call up. Um, was, was it something you were expecting? I mean, you're, you're only 21, so um, did, did it come around a little bit sooner than you may have expected? Uh, yeah, definitely. Especially um, my form over the past couple of years in T20 cricket probably hasn't been as consistent as I would have liked. Um, so definitely a surprise. But in saying that, representing Australia at any form um, is an honour and a privilege. So I'm happy to be involved in, in the squad the last week. Playing cricket in, in India is a pretty special experience. Can you uh, can you try and put into words what the uh, what the atmosphere was like last night? Uh, it was quite loud. I don't think I could really hear anything for the first few overs I was out there. So it just gives you some idea of, of the, the noise out there. But um, I've had a bit of experience over here before, so it wasn't something that I was um, that I wasn't familiar with. And I sort of knew what I was expecting um, going out there. Is that is that the loudest crowd you've played in front of? Yeah, it'd have to be pretty close. Um, I got to field in a, in a game a few years ago for New South Wales in Bangalore, and that was that was up there as well. But in terms of playing and, and batting out there, yeah, definitely something I hadn't really experienced. You didn't show too many nerves, mate. Um, you, you you put Ishant Sharma into the crowd with uh, one of his first deliveries. What was that like? Um, yeah, well, it was just sort of something in, in this form of the game where you see the ball, you've got to try and try and hit over the fence. So for me, I wasn't exactly too nervous. Um, I probably get more nerves when I'm fielding than than batting. So. For me, it was just something I wanted to sort of stick to my strengths and when I seen the ball there, not, not think about it too much. George, George Bailey said in the lead up to the game that um, you know, you're a very aggressive player and, and you, you really like to take on uh, every ball and it doesn't matter who's coming at you. Is that, is that the way you like to approach the game? Uh, yeah, I think that's the way I play my best cricket. Um, the past few years in, in first class cricket, I've probably haven't been as consistent as I would have liked and I've gone away from being aggressive. Um, it's something I went back to during the off season and the end of last season and got a little bit more success. So I think that's that's just my natural game and the way I, the way I play. And I think it's the way for me to be most successful. And uh, probably wasn't the greatest uh, thing for, for Australia in terms of um, the game, but watching Yuvraj Singh last night must have been a pretty, uh, pretty special moment as well. Yeah, it was. Um, like you said, the, for a game to get that close, um, and then losing the last over was pretty disappointing, um, especially being my first game would have been nice to start off with a win for Australia. But yeah, he played exceptional innings and that just happens in cricket sometimes, especially in the shorter forms of the game. As far as uh, T or T20 or one day players go, there's, there's not many better than, than Yuvraj at controlling an innings like that. Yeah, he played beautifully and in, in these conditions he's, he's quite hard to stop once they get on a roll. So I guess it's something that we have to have to try and conquer going into the one day series. And, and looking forward, I mean obviously you're not, you're not taking part in the one day series, but looking forward for the rest of the squad, um, how do you feel like this, this result uh, sets the, the series up for Australia? Yeah, well I thought we batted um, exceptionally well last night and really took it to some of the Indian bowlers, so it's something to look forward to for the rest of the tour. Um, the group together the last week has been training really well and really enjoying each other's company and, and helping each other out. So it's, it's going to be an exciting seven matches I think. Um, I'll be at home watching, but yeah, like I said, that, that excitement of coming and playing with in India, um, I think we got off to, to a reasonably good start with our, in terms of our batting.